That was a familiar scene on the campus of UMass Amherst as pro-Palestinian protesters are once again organizing encampments. This follows days of protests at the university in response to the war happening in Israel and Gaza. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in Amherst with what's happening right now, Christina. Ciara and Nick, students have been standing in front of a barricade that they built here on the south lawn of the Student Union to protect this encampment, which was removed just days ago. Again, this is the encampment here on the south lawn of the Student Union. As you can see, the tents are backed back up, but this time it is barricaded. According to social media posts by UMass Students for Justice in Palestine, they say that they are back. They will not leave easily this time as they are escalating their protests. Their posts have also showed faculty in front of this barricade as well. We did see them as we were closer to the encampment and in a letter to Chancellor Reyes, organizers say they will peacefully disperse and break down the encampments once their demands are met. This comes after Israeli troops seize Gaza's vital Rafah crossing, which has become a part of humanitarian aid for civilians. In a statement to 22 News, a representative of UMass Amherst said in part, quote, UMass Amherst has a strong commitment to protecting the free and open exchange of ideas guaranteed by the First Amendment and the university's founding values. They go on to say, quote, while they could stay and continue to demonstrate, as is their right, unauthorized structures must be removed. Chancellor Reyes agreed to meet with student representatives from the demonstration around 4.30 p.m. today to discuss their demands, but the encampment still remains. Working for you in Amherst, Christina DeMores, 22 News.